Good morning, guys. Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday. Today is December the 2nd. We are getting closer and closer to Christmas every single day. Today, I'm going to do something I've never done before. Here is a clue. I got my, I don't know if you guys can see, I got my riding breeches on, I got my warmest riding clothes on. So yeah, what do you guys think I'm gonna do? Something I have never done before, but it's been requested, comment below. Part number one today, part number two. Molly and I are walking down in a winter wonderland. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I shared with you guys in a previous video that I believe a God shows me hearts every single day, several times a day, to remind me that I am loved and to remind me to love others. Sometimes when I see many hearts, I think it's gonna be one of those days where I'm gonna need to remember to love others. <laughs> God has a plan, you guys. He knows what we need. So I am the very first one in the barn today, in the day-by-day -day barn. Woo, I am cold. I knew it was gonna be cold today. Gotta close the door. Woo. Some days I open the door and leave it open. Other days I close that sucker right back up. Right, Penny Pickle. Uh, stop eating their grain, Missy. All right, oh my goodness sake. Said you had a good sleep? Yeah, she said yes I did. Did you hear her? That was a different sound. Never heard that sound of any horse before. What do you guys think? What, did, what was she saying? It sounded affectionate. Some of you guys are like, yes, Laura, you finally got the feed. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> you finally got the feed pan colors fixed, memorized, perfected. All right, Gracie, there you go. So today I'm doing something completely different, something I've never done before. I'm excited. Let me tell you, I suggested doing this and I was met with resistance. People said, don't do it. A lot of people said, don't do it, including one of my children. But I have to tell you that in life, there are always gonna be people that tell you not to do it. And most of the time it's because they're basing their decision on their life circumstances and their life experience. Nobody else can decide for you what's best for you. And sometimes there are other reasons why they tell you not to do stuff, but I can tell you this. If I listened to all the people that said, don't do it, we would never have a vlog. If I listened to all the people who said, don't do it, we would never be on this farm. If I listened to all the people that said, don't do it, you're not going to like it, you're not going to, you're going to regret it, we would never have a single horse. So go out there, live your own life, make your own choices, you guys. Only you can know what's right for you. And that's another thing. You will never have judgment from me if you're making your own decisions. I will love you, I will support you, and I will help guide you if you ask for it. And that is it, I will not judge you because your life is your own and you need to grow and make your own choices and let God lead where you're meant to go. Do you guys hear it? It's that sweet spot in the barn, that quiet moment where everybody's busy eating their grain and there are no children and no dogs and no noise and no cats. Just pure bliss and happiness. And it's over. It's over. Gabby has arrived. What are you eating? Gummies. Gummies for breakfast? I wanted to buy you gummy vitamins. Did you find any difference in that vitamin that you took yesterday? Not yet. Anyway, Gabby's here. I'm going to do outfit of the day for Gabby because we never do outfit of the day. Gabby, you want to do it? Outfit of the day? Just do a little model pose and show what's underneath that coat. Just fling open your coat. Phew. No, I'm not taking off my coat. Okay, so let's see. All right, let's see. Gabby has on... Her, ooh, what color shirt do you have on underneath there? I have a hole in my vest. I need <gasps> you to sew it. Oh, I will sew it because that is an expensive vest. So Gabby has on her Benetton blue. Is that Benetton blue? Benetton blue. Her base, no, her vest, her gray breeches, her winter boots. How are you liking the winter boots? They're warm. They're warm. So these are the boots that I told everybody about. I only know of the seller that's local. I don't even know what they're called. She doesn't ship, otherwise I give you guys her information. But these are literally like croc material and they are so light, you, you could just hold them with a baby finger, like the whole boot, literally. They're so light and they have a liner in them, but Sophie doesn't use the liner and she loves them. Like the girls love them. Apparently, they're indestructible. But if I know my girls, they can destruct them. Or else Molly will help too. Oh, and there goes the kitty number one. Yes, I'm it? yours. I know I keep saying it, but this horse is literally so fun. She is so patient with me. It's like she said. Yeah, Gabby got two blankets on by the time I got one blanket on. 
Yeah, that's true. Let me get a halter and lead for you, Kenny. Anyway, what I was saying is that my horse is so patient with me. I'm not gonna lie. She stood there while I fussed and did that blanket. Like, she lets me brush her and she... I have to tell you what happened yesterday with her and Gabby. I have to tell you. All right, so Penny does not love Gabby. Uh, I'm sad to say it, but Gabby does not love Penny either. There's no love lost between these two people. There's none. And Gabby, that's terrible. You should love every horse. But here's the reality of it. There are people and animals that you don't connect with in life. There just are. And even when you love all animals, there are still sometimes animals you don't, sometimes you don't connect with. Don't worry, I'll connect with you. I'll connect with you. Anyways, Gabby and Penny don't connect and this is why. Gabby likes to be the boss. Penny likes to be the boss. Look at her out there pinning her ears. Penny is so harmless. Like that's what people don't see behind those pinned ears. She's the most harmless horse we've ever had. She which literally ran up to a little flat out. Like yeah. she's gonna attack her and yeah. then she put her mouth on her. Yeah, like She's all bark, no bite. She's grouchy. I didn't get to explain this in the vlog yesterday, but yesterday, Gabby rode a penny, and she was coming around here, coming around the door area, and slowing down, trying to stop. And then finally, Gabby was like, no, you don't get to make the choices. It's me. And she said, go. And Penny's like, oh, fine. And she went. And let me tell you, every time she went around there, Gabby never had to tell her again to don't stop at the door. She was going around, doing everything Gabby asked for, but you could see that she was getting madder and madder, and she was getting like... Penny never forgets. Like a penny, ne penny never forgets. And so after Gabby Horses wrote her, horses never forget, mom. Oh, elephants never Not forget. Not just penny. Well, let me tell you, she holds a grudge. My girl holds a grudge. So after Gabby wrote her, and she did everything perfectly, beautifully. She did everything Gabby asked her to do. Well, I wrote her, and Gabby stood in the middle of the arena. I don't know what's happening here. So Sorry, Gabby, you have to hold her so she doesn't get hit by this. So Gabby. Basically, after Gabby did that, she stood in the middle of the arena and I rode Penny. And every time we'd come around this corner and I was on her and she would see Gabby, she would swish her tail and she would pin her ears flat back. And I'm like, what's wrong with her? Why is she pinning her ears? And she's like, I think it's me. So then we stopped in the middle and Penny was just standing there and Gabby walked closer to her and closer to her and her ears went so far back. And then Gabby came up and she touched her and Penny was like, yeah, you better get away from me. Yeah, yeah, she definitely does. So uh, yeah, Penny and Gabby don't connect. Penny doesn't like somebody that's bossy. I don't like somebody that's bossy and I think that's why Penny and I get along. Penny seems to tolerate Sophie, no problem. Then sometimes in this world there are people that you connect with and there are people that you don't. Don't beat yourself up because you don't connect with an animal that you want to connect with. I almost fell! You almost fell? I almost How come you are late to the barn today, Sophia? Because I don't want to put my dog up and she's sleeping in my bed. And she was cold too. And she was actually warm when I uncovered her. So why did you actually, why was your dog cold? Because I, I gave her a bath. Why did you give her a bath? Because she stunk. Why did she stink? Was there an accident in the crate last night, Sophia? Pardon? Yeah. Yeah, so sometimes that does happen. I didn't see it before. Yeah. So I stepped this foot on the mat and I started sliding. Yeah, don't step on that mat. Da, 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 make it a Christmas memory. Molly already knows. Whoa, I can't. Don't say your name. The M girl already knows that it is treat calendar time. That was from that one. If you guys didn't see it, yesterday we got advent calendars for our dogs and they have dog treats. <laughs> Molly accidentally opened it. Yeah. She reminds me of Gabby. I'll tell the story. I'll tell the story. All right, and then Ruby gets one, and this girl does Day not. Two. This I'll pretty smelling you. girl does not. Call Ruby. Day two. Call Ruby. Ruby, yours is over here. Wait. Daisy's like, let me have Calm it. Down. Ruby, yours is over here. Ruby. Ruby. They love oh, them. Ruby. They, uh oh. There's three, there's three. Let's see them. Let's take a look. We got these calendars at Costco. If anybody's wondering, they look like salami. It just looks like. Uh oh. You're okay. You're okay. It was an accidental step. Oh, let's try. Let Molly try. Let Macy try. I mean, Down. give one to Macy. Down. Down. 
So that, so let's give one to Toby too. Let's give a piece to Toby. And Macy loves it. She should have that whole thing. Let her have the whole thing. She's like, this one is for me. Uh, all right. It's not like she. It's too big for her to. We'll have to give her a. We'll give her a baking soda sandwich today. I'll show you, Daisy. Yeah. You gotta break it up for her. It's way too big. Well, she's the one who took it off. She's like, she's inhaling it. She is inhaling it. She's super picky like Storm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she is inhaling it. Good one. I know, Molly. You had two. Today's calendar treat was a win-win. Did you give a piece to Toby? Too. Go give a little piece to Toby. Yeah. All right, so uh, when Gabby was four years old, we used to get, they used to get the chocolate advent calendars every year, those little tiny ones, yeah, and love she loves chocolate just like her dad. Chocolate is her thing, her life, her, her everything, and one, and she knew that we eat one chocolate every single day, so she woke up one day when she was four, and she ate one chocolate, and then I put the chocolate back on the dining room table and left the room. I came back a few minutes later, and Gabby was underneath the dining room table with the whole chocolate calendar ripped apart, shoving her mouth filled with chocolate. And then I looked at her, and she looked at me, and she said, I'm eating them. And she was so ferocious about it. Like, she was just like, I'm eating them. She couldn't control it. She had to do it. And I said, okay then. Like, if that's what you have to do, you won't have any more any other day. But that's okay. Macy's still begging for treats. Sophie's ripping into tiny little pieces because she... She's Macy's old. She is 12. Molly. I and she does not have strong teeth. And she just loves that treat. The dogs are jealous. How did Toby like it? He didn't eat it. I, he still has a tiny piece in there. Did he eat it? No. Also in the Schleich advent calendar today, the girls got these little Scotty type dogs. Whoops. This Scotty? I don't know what kind of dog it is. Comment below if you know what kind of dog it is. Mm, look at the face details. Just wait, my camera does not want to look at the face details. So they still have their boy and their dog. So Gabby is the sugar connoisseur in our house. She loves her some chocolate. We've talked about it before. Sam and Gabby twins, Sophie and I twins. So, oh, just so I want to show them what you made. So Gabby made brownies today and she got score bits. Can you guys see them? You should put all of it, put the whole bag on there. I'm putting it on after I do Oh, on it. top? Mm. I have to take my pill now. Gabby got some vitamins and you- late. Yeah, Gabby got some vitamins and she takes it with food. Do you want to show them that they're huge? All right, you guys want to see Gabby's vitamins? Mm -hmm. This is a new thing, these are her new vitamins. But anyway, yeah. she made those amazing brownies. Second day having it. Second day having these pills. I have to swallow, swallow them whole. They're by Jameson. And they look like puke. Don't they look like puke? They are huge. So, I don't know. I can swallow it whole though. It's fine. So, typically kids take a while to learn how to swallow vitamins. They I, take... took, I took one day. One a day, yeah. No, like one day to learn how to swallow. Oh, she took one this day. Morning I swallowed it, no problem. Yeah, okay, so there you go. Those are Gabby's brownies. They've been looking awesome. You're gonna have to hide them because if you don't hide chocolate in this house, what happens? Daddy eats it. Yeah. I know I've told this story before. I don't know if any of you guys have not heard it, so I'm gonna tell it again. But basically, when the girls were younger and all the Easter Bunny would come, I would take all their extra chocolate and I'd put it in a little all the bag. Chocolate chocolate that we didn't eat that day put yeah. it in a bag put it in, in the, the freezer. freezer and I'd be like someday in the near future when you guys are feeling like chocolate again then we'll open it and have some chocolate so a couple weeks goes by and we go in the fridge and we go in the freezer no, Sophia found an easter egg underneath her um table like the chocolate little easter eggs and I was like oh my god my chocolate so we went down to get it and dad ate it yeah so we went to look in the freezer okay. Yeah, she was four. She was four. Her dad ate all her chocolate. <laughs> That's how much he loves chocolate, you guys. <laughs> Molly, Molly. Guess what? Ah! It's Billy Amish. It's, it's Billy Amish. It's Billy Amish. <laughs> Smelly Amish? Expelly Amish? What? Smelly omelets? It's, it's a 
Oh, no, oh. that's not a spell. Is that a spell to make your sister disappear? No, it's no. to disarm a person. Oh. Yeah, with another so throw wand. that up in the air. It's expelling. Spelliamish. Um. <laughs> so these are my shreddies that we bought no, for um, Mish. Um, that we bought for Gabby um, and I to eat, and I'm taking some down for Penny. Um, yeah, so this. Bellatrixes, I think. I'm, I'm Bellatrix. I'm guessing it's Bellatrix. I'm, I'm Bellatrix. I don't even know who Bellatrix is. This is a Harry Potter wand. Okay. It's metal. It's really cool. It's heavy. You coming, Penny? I heard her. Did you hear her say yes? She's a talker. She also always has to have something to say about everything. I brought you something super yummy. It's shreddies. What do you think? Mmm, so yummy. Good. I'm glad you like them. Yes, they're so good. All right, well now you're getting hay. Great car talk with Laura. Oh, we're cool. late. Yeah, we're late. Go! We're actually late, but when I say we're late, it's because so we booked the arena for a certain time. We have to be there at a certain time and gone for a certain time. We try to be there for the certain time, but we're always gone for the certain time, if that makes sense. Yeah, so whew, we are headed out. Woo! And it is cold today. It is so cold. So to, with our... Thank you. You got me, got me my... Those are not earmuffs. Yeah, it's earmuffs. Nope. What are they called, Gabby? It's a headband. Headband. Gabby brought me my headband. Kind of waiting for the car to warm up a bit. Wooey, it's cold. Anyways, we are doing a Secret Santa for our family this year. Are you doing a Secret Santa? We're doing a Secret Santa. Who'd you get, Gabby? Can't tell. Can't tell. Who'd I get? Can't tell. It's all my boys, their get? wives, and us. Who did I get? Who'd you get? Can't tell. Yeah, you <laughs> can't tell. Anyway, we're going to probably try and go out shopping tonight and get all that stuff, which might mean that we eat at the mall. Eating in the mall is my favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite. I like it because you can everybody can eat what they like. Like my eyes look blue today. I hate going I hate buffets because you eat too much. And I hate restaurants. I don't know. I like the mall. Why are my blue why are my eyes like light blue with orange in them today? So green eyes are one of the rare kind of eyes that change color. I, we, I got it from my mom. Every single one of my kids have it. Every single one of my grandkids, except for one grandkid has brown eyes. The rest of us all have green eyes. Brooklyn. Doesn't Jacob have brown eyes? Jacob has brown eyes. Brooklyn has green eyes, just like us. And they change color. So sometimes they're like a dark, dark gray. Sometimes they're a bright, dark, like a dark, like a bright okay, green, at, like at an night, olive green. At night, my eyes are like a dark emerald green. Yeah, I love green eyes. Green eyes are um, the best. I don't know what color my eyes are. Your eyes are green too. And also, weird fact about eyes is that in our family, they say it takes about six months for you to get your eye color. In my family, it takes about two years, up to two years, sometimes even a little bit longer for kids to actually turn green. But I must be super dominant because everybody, all of us, all my kids, all my grandkids except for one, have green eyes. Same green eyes as us. Well. The coldest day of the year, and somebody's buck naked. He's grown a nice winter coat. He has grown a nice winter coat. Why are you naked, Storm? Where's your blanket? You don't know? What happened? Were you fighting? Or was it love? Was it love or war? Over there, Gabby's struggling with Chino. Oh, thank you. Storm was hanging out with Tex. Right, so I'm gonna go and look for the blanket. Honestly. She's... Why? No shoe. Well, Chino, you got no shoe? Oh, something crazy was happening in the field yesterday. Chino lost a, a shoe and Storm lost a blanket. And I know Storm and I know Chino wasn't fighting because he's not a fighter. He's a lover, not a fighter. Alright. Oh gosh. Maybe I should go a different way. Oh. Oh. Alright. Let's see. I have not found a blanket yet, but I did find another heart. I crossed the little river. I'm thinking, I'm being reminded of how cold winter is here. I do see something way down there. It could be a rock though. Doesn't help with the added snow. Why is it that it's only when you buy your horse a new blanket that they lose it, that they lose it. You put an old yucky blanket on them. Oh, oh, I think I found. You guys see it? Is that a rock or a blanket? It's a rock. Is it a rock? All right, that is not a rock. 
What the heck? Does that not, that does not look like Storm's brand new blanket. That is not Storm's brand new blanket. Storm's blanket is black and isn't ripped to shreds. What the heck is this? This is it. This is Storm's brand new blanket. Oh my gosh. Maybe he slipped out of it. Yeah, right. He got it ripped off of him. Oh man. What a disaster. $299 plus tax down the toilet. For all you people who think that Gabby doesn't have a heart, that she doesn't feel, that she doesn't love, she went to find me. She went to make sure I was safe. Well, safe to say, safe to say that Storm did not just step out of his blanket. Either that or, either in it, or if he did, he also went back and tore the blanket to shreds in the butt. I saw it when we were driving by. Oh. It was over by, in this field, yeah. Storm, don't let people bite your butt. How did he even get out of it? The straps are completely done up. Oh. It was his chest piece then that off. Yeah, except that the butt is ripped to bits. All right, so I'm gonna take this home, take it home and see what I can do with it. Does that mean you're not riding? Yeah. So basically, I mean, it was new, you guys. I think I could just stitch this up. I mean, if, if it was an accident, it wasn't gonna happen again, then it wouldn't be worth it, but. That's green though, that blanket's green. I know, I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's green, but then if you turn it to the right side. Yeah, I know, you didn't like this new blanket? You want something special? Something better? Something? Lucky for Storm, we can, we have some alternatives we can do. I also have a blanket at home that is the purple one that, that Penny was wearing that he can wear. And I also will go to the store and buy him a new blanket. Just in case you forget, this brings the tally of total blankets for Storm this winter already is to two, two dead blankets. Also, just to let you guys know, a lot of people have been mentioning that we should be washing our horses' feet every time we bring them in because they look like this, which is all clearly awful. But in Canada, you, you can't even hardly run water in the winter. It's frozen. It freezes. When you spray water out, it freezes as you're spraying it. So it's not something that we're able to do in Canada. Horses are dirty in Canada in winter because we can't spray them. Nothing we can do about it. But I want to tell you guys... I just broke the zipper on my coat today. <laughs> that is why God sent me all those hearts today to remind me to stay positive even though everything bad is happening. He is reminding me that there is so much good going on in the world even when bad things happen. He is reminding me that I have more coats. Storm has more coats. We have options. Don't get upset. Don't sweat the small stuff. All right, so Gabby is gonna ride Finn today. Sophie's gonna ride Storm today. And we're not going to take a long time because we have a lot to do today, tonight. You ready for this, Finny boy? Yeah. You can see the smoke coming from Finn's nostrils. That's how cold it is. So Sophie's going to double storm me up. Can you guys see it? Wow, that is how cold it is out here. I'm proud of you, Finny. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of Gabby. I'm so proud of you, Sophie. All right, so we're going to have the black one on him, and then you we're going to have this one on him. thought it was too big. I did think it was too big, but I think it's okay. Oh, it's going to work out. Size. All right, come on. We're late. If you want to shower, we got to go. we got to go. I am impressed. I am impressed by the level of speed my girls got in, rode, and got out. This has never happened before. From now on, I'm going to tell Gabby that she cannot have a shower unless she's out by a certain time. And I won't shower. Oh. Oh, well, it worked today. Bye, friends. Bye, horses. We love you. Don't fight, Storm. Keep your... He was... Oh, is he that him over there behind that shelter? He's like, oh, here comes Gabby. I better hide. Actually, there's a girl behind there with him. He's hiding behind the shelter with a girl. Well, there is a gray horse. Oh, a gray horse? Yeah. So, we love these things. Dinosaur. These are the TikTok trend lights, you know? They're really cool. Oh, this is the thing that Gabby Sophie wants really bad. I've never met anyone. So they have all different brain brands. A huggle blanket. That's a blanket hoodie. Can I please get it? No. 
you can't one for cheaper. Go with Gabby, you'll always save money. I want pink one. I want pink one. Yeah, the pink is cute. Look at this one. This one's neat. Since we, see, this is why you should never come to the mall after you're done Christmas shopping because look at they have all the dino lights now. I remember when we were looking for these and we There's could never the find them. So apparently this is anti-cellulite suction cups. Personally, it just looks like a... What is that? Anti-cellulite suction cups. What do you torture, torture. Oh, this is what I have, but I keep losing my, my thing, and I like this thing. This thing works. Magnetic face mask, but look at this. What is this? It's a bait bracelet. No. Magnetic, I know. Express yourself. You can do it. They have the LED lights here now. Don't you know that you're beautiful?